Oh, you can tell me. Oh my god, I'm already fucking up. Anyways, hi, it's Queen S over here. And today we're gonna do a get ready with me. And we're gonna start with makeup. Hair, um, I don't know if we would say hair because I don't know how long it's gonna take to dry, but I just got out of the shower and we're gonna do an outfit. This is not the app that we're doing, but you will see what I'll be wearing later on. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so weird. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. So, this makeup look is only going to take 10 minutes. So, that's why I thought this would be useful. Because, honestly, I don't have more than 10 minutes to get my makeup done. And I think I do a pretty good job getting my makeup done in 10 minutes. So first we're going to start off with um, moisturizer. Honestly, this changed my life. I know I'm very dramatic, but not really. Like, let me tell you a little story. Um, so as a teenager, I used to have oily skin, used to have breakouts and everything. So I always thought I had oily skin, I was going to have oily skin for the rest of my life. And then I became an adult and kept thinking I had oily skin but I actually have dry skin now. And the only way I figured that out, it was by going to Sephora and I had them do this whole beauty makeover. And they told me, girl, you got dry skin. You need moisturizer. And I've never heard of moisturizer, never used moisturizer. And once I started using moisturizer, that changed my life. So tip number one is know what kind of skin you have and then go from there. So, but either way, you're gonna need moisturizer. So. This one is really good. It's called Youth to the People, and it was expensive. It was like 50 something dollars, but I'm telling you, it was worth it because it's not oily. It's, I think it's not oil-based, so that's why I really like it. The consistency is really nice. It's not sticky and gross. It just really hydrates you and moisturizes your skin. So I'm just gonna use my fingers to rub this in. And the reason why my skin is extremely red and pink is because I just exfoliated the hell out of it. So this is the result of sensitive skin getting scrubbed and exfoliated the hell out of. So next thing we're going to do, um, you could do primer. Um, I don't, if I'm doing it in 10 minutes, I usually skip primer and just go straight to foundation. So the foundation I'm using is Anastasia and it's for dry skin. So that's why I'm using it. And that also changed my life. The girl told me whatever foundation you're using is gross. Okay. You look hella cakey and it is not looking good on you, girl. And I was like, thank you for telling me the truth. Now I know. So as you can see, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but I definitely have large pores. And combination of moisturizer and foundation really helps with these pores. And you're going to see by the end of this video, some pictures I'll be taking of close-ups of my face. And you'll see that my face is completely flawless using this moisturizer and foundation. So I'm just using a beauty blender. Um, and you're supposed to wet this, but I, I think it's wet enough. Yeah, you can see it's like a flawless finish. And you don't need more than two pumps. How gorgeous is that? And I don't like, I like full coverage, but I don't like it to be looking unnatural. Like I still want to look like this is real skin and not paint on me. So yeah, just keep dabbing until everything looks good. And so next step, you don't have to do this in this particular order, but this is what I do. Um, and I'm just gonna do lips. This is literally my go-to. It's NYX Liquid Suede. And this is literally the perfect color for my skin tone. And it just looks really natural. And it stays on pretty nicely. And 
It makes my lips look really full. You'll see what I mean. <sighs> so far that's how I'm looking. I am going to do some contouring. Don't judge me, but I need to get into more. But I use the Wet n Wild Contour Palette and half of it is missing. But and this is a little brush I use, a little angle brush. And we'll start right there. And we'll slowly work my way up. So So yeah, I use a combination of drugstore and expensive stuff, but I just think it is worth the investment to get more expensive things for your skin. And it's important to know what kind of skin type you got and all that, because that's honestly what changed my makeup routine was the moisturizer and the foundation, because I honestly did not like how my face feel. Like at the end of the day, after makeup, it just looked bad. Like you can see my pores looking humongous. It was disgusting. Like even in pictures, like you would just see huge, like, ugh, it was just gross. It was really bad. But now I don't have that problem. So it's a really good investment. Wait, ooh, I forgot to do my nose. Let me just do this. Yeah, this is a makeup look I usually do. It takes me 10 minutes in the morning before I go to work. But it's taking me a little bit longer since I am chatting with you boys. Okay, now the looking a cute. Now I'm going to add some highlighter. Ooh, okay. I, don't, I haven't heard of this brand, but it's called Look. Okay, and I never thought of using this color, but this is the color I'm using. Look how I'm going to apply this. And look how pretty it's going to look on my face. Ready? Okay, are you shook or not? Tell me, are you shook? Hi, brows. Yes. Of course, Anastasia is mom bitch. Um, dark brown. And then just a normal little brush and we gonna stroke the brows because I just love that strokey eyebrow look so I just start from the brow and just stroke 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 me eyebrows me stroking my brow okay I know I got a little Let me show you my favorite eyelashes bulk. It is called the Allure. They're mink lashes and they're $25. So definitely expensive, but I literally wear them almost every day and they look bomb. So I'm not complaining um, because it's definitely worth it. Like I'd rather do that than get eyelash extensions or mas wear mascara. Sometimes I wear mascara, sometimes I don't because I have like thick lashes so it's easy for me to just blend it with um, lashes. But I'm gonna do mascara for today. Um, I'm running out actually. That just proves to you how much I don't need mascara. So my method of using mascara is weird. I like it, it works for me. I just like layer on a coat and go move, moving side to side. So that's how I get that thickness in. And then once I get coated on all my eyelashes, that's when I lengthen them doing this. People always ask me, like, oh my god, the ugly lashes, what mascara do you use? And I don't know if it's because of the technique I use or what, but I just, I think it works. I just really love lashes, and this is how I apply my mascara.
not bad. So you can stop it right there or you can put on the lashes. I love fucking lashes. It's my ting ting. So I gotta do it. Oh my god, I'm pulling one. Before we do that, I need to pull lenses at this point. So okay. Yeah, finishing up this look. We are going to apply the lash. Okay. okay, by the way, I'm just loving the stroke of the eyebrows. I'm just all about that natural eyebrow look. Um okay, look. And also, I love freckles, so I might do this, right? Okay, I'm back. Um, that was definitely a struggle, but I finally got my lenses in and my lashes in. Um, but I am just gonna go over the lashes, the C mascara. Um, just so everything looks flawless. Okay. Now, moving on to Ayana. Sorry for my spasm. I'm always so excited every time I move forward. <laughs> it seems like something is clunkle. So, yeah. I like my liners to be um, kind of like blend in with the lash, so I don't know if you get what I mean, but I like to make it look like another lash, you know, just like whoop, right there, and then I close my eye, and then I just make a straight line, so it looks like that. And then I just do the same. Ooh. And this liner, I can't tell you what brand it is because I've literally had it forever. And I probably should replace it, but honestly, it's bomb. Like, why would I replace something that's been bomb and has been good to me for all these years? And this, this liner is looking bad. Now this liner is thicker than that one, so I'm just going to adjust. Well, actually, it does apply in the so yeah, that's that. And any finishing touches, I'll probably do, um, what's it called, loose powder, just to finish it up so everything looks flawless. And then we should be good, and then we should move on to outfits oh i forgot to tell you guys i got a new wig that's actually what we're doing with hair so we are putting on the wig i think i look good Here's a closer, closer. Yeah, this just gets me tense, and I'm pretty happy and content with it. So, if you wanna use the same look, products are mentioned in the description below. And yeah, now moving on to hair. 